I, 24 male, walked in on something horrifying with my girlfriend, 23 female, and two friends, 23 male slash female. Please help me. I've been seeing my girlfriend, Laura, for a year. She's fantastic, and we adore one other. I've known Jake and Shelly for two years. We weren't close at first, since I met them via my circle of friends, but now we are, we're, quite close. They love my girlfriend and spend more time with her than with me. Once, they even informed me that if we split up, they would choose her side over mine, despite the fact that I've known them longer. Anyway, I'll go right to it. Laura had just graduated from college and wanted to celebrate. Let me begin by mentioning that she never drinks. I believe she's only drunk once or twice in the year I've known her, and that's because my circle of friends sort of forced her to. She can't take booze since she's so little and has no tolerance. This will come in handy later. So Jake and Shelly invite her to their house when I am at work, and I am unable to go. The idea was for them to pick her up and drive her to their apartment, then for me to pick her up after work so she wouldn't drink and drive or have to stay the night. Everything is okay, I trust them, and I know they are experienced drinkers who would keep an eye on her. I leave work at 2 a.m. and go over to their house. I knew Laura was intoxicated at this point because of the messages I was receiving from her, so I knew I had to take care of her. But then I arrive to their home and discover something horrible. Laura is unconscious on the ground, Shelly is on top of her, making out with her, and Jake is filming everything on his phone. I panic out and ask him what the is going on, then I grab his phone and erase the videos and photographs. He chuckles and claims it was all a prank that they took the images to mock Laura and play a joke on her in the morning. I take her up from the ground and we walk away. Guys, she was so inebriated she couldn't even walk. She was puking all the time, weeping all the time, and couldn't see straight, while my mates were absolutely sober. What the heck is this? I put her to bed and then got a text from Shelly stating I shouldn't be upset since it was all a joke. I respond that they took advantage of her, and she agrees but claims they did it in a pleasant manner so she could let free and have fun since she is constantly studying. I was so horrified that I didn't respond and spent the whole night caring for Laura, since she wouldn't stop vomiting. Laura gets a slew of text messages from them the following day, berating her for getting them into trouble. They claim she's an adult woman who can handle her own errors, that they don't care what I think about what they did, that I'm a little, and that it's all her responsibility since she forced them to make the video. If you could see how incoherent and blacked out my partner was, you'd realize she couldn't even get up, much alone push anybody to do anything. She's been sobbing all day, going back and forth between yes, it was all her fault, and no, they were filthy. They continue to chastise and ridicule me for being furious, claiming that I am overreacting to a simple prank that they were planning to perform on her. I'm at a loss on what to do. Please help. Am I mistaken? Because I don't believe I am, but Jake and Shelly are circulating tales about it, portraying me as a possessive, controlling jerk and my girlfriend as a stupid drunk who forced them to behave poorly. Update. So, for many days following the event, they phoned my girlfriend on a regular basis, criticizing her and telling her it was her fault. She did reveal to them that she was blackout drunk and couldn't remember anything and they jumped on that knowledge by feeding her fake tales about what really occurred and accusing me of lying and being a controlling jerk who just wanted to separate her from her genuine friends. They then proceeded to tell her horrible stories about my past. That I did drugs, when I was 18 for God's sake, that I was once arrested for drunk driving, a mistake I admitted to as soon as she and I met, and she was aware of it from the start, that I've slept with multiple women, and that Laura is just another number to me. Guys, I'll confess that I used to be a party animal with a horrible history. But I'm a different guy now and I love my fiancé with all of my heart. It's stunned that they were using my history against me to get her to join their cause. So I advised her to go to the police station and submit a complaint, and she consented. They flipped when she told them to stop pestering her. Out. That they came to our home late at night to attempt to speak to her. They left snacks and gifts for her at our door and they even enlisted the help of her parents. Her parents are not fools, and as soon as I informed her what they did to Laura, she barred them from the home and threatened to call the cops if they returned. 
It was a bizarre situation, given that they left handwritten messages for her parents to read, marked love, your beloved son and daughter. Laura spent several nights in my arms, sobbing with remorse and uncertainty. After weeks of harassment, we went to the police station and filed a case. She didn't want to pursue charges, I'm working on rebuilding her self-esteem so she can do it if she ever wants to. The cops told her that she has enough evidence to bring charges against them since she had the messages in which they acknowledged to taking advantage of her, and that if she does, they can take their phones and check for their video. I'm still not sure how it would work, but I'm not going to argue with it. Laura only wanted to submit a report so that if anything were to happen in the future, there would be a paper trail. She's thinking about getting a restraining order against them, but they've stopped and gone quiet. We have lost touch with them and any other friends who believe their falsehoods. Laura is in treatment and is gradually coming to terms with the fact that she was sexually attacked, and I sometimes accompany her to encourage her. The most difficult aspect for her is not feeling like it's her responsibility. She brings up the fact that she was intoxicated and that if she hadn't been so drunk, it might all have been averted. It is not her fault, I constantly tell her. We'll see if she decides to pursue charges. I can't make her do anything she doesn't want to do, but I will back her in anything she decides. So there you have it. I'm not sure what to make of the chaos that ensued that night. I'm not sure why they went insane, leaving her letters and presents and attempting to contact her parents. Could one of you explain it to me? Story 2 my 30 male GF32 female of 6 months has changed her behavior recently and I want to leave. So I met her earlier this year and we were fast friends within a month of meeting, dating after a month, and officially dating for around 6 months. On a night out with some pals, I met her. We live apart but she spends a lot of time at my home since it is closer to her workplace. Our relationship began off pretty well. I felt like we simply clicked and she was also quite supportive of me. However, she has lately been pretty demanding about my adopting lifestyle changes, and she seems furious and unsatisfied with the outcomes. My job and what I wear are the two most important. As for my job, I work at the same business I've worked at since I was 16. It's a simple job that pays my bills and I know how to handle everything there. I'm essentially a manager without the obligation of really being a manager since I don't want that level of duty for no more compensation. I also earn money from stocks and cryptocurrencies, so I'm not short on cash. What do I prefer to wear? I have a lot of jumpers and t-shirts from an emo band that my friends and I used to appreciate when we were younger. I actually have maybe 50 or so that I wear a lot since. It makes me happy and doesn't damage anybody. I confess I have a bit of an anxiety issue. Familiarity helps me deal with it. Some family members suspect I have OCD, although I've never been diagnosed. My partner recently voiced her dissatisfaction with my attire, telling me that I needed to mature and get new ones. She spends a lot of money on whatever outfits are in style, which I don't mind since it's her money to spend and she's not harming anybody. But I'm not sure why she's bothered by my clothing. The fight was heated, but we eventually agreed to go shopping and get me some new clothing which are really pretty lovely that I like wearing. I was wearing a band t-shirt again a few days later since the new clothing were in the wash, and she was furious. I stated that the new clothing were in the washing machine, and that it had not been agreed that I would quit wearing band gear entirely. She refused to speak to me for the rest of the day, but the following day she had calmed down and stated that she believes new clothing would help me develop as a person. We discussed for a long time before I decided to get rid of the band attire. I began weeping while I was packing them, and she called me foolish, so I begged her to go. She returned a few hours later and we reconciled. I loaded the boxes into my vehicle and informed her I was going to give them. She was overjoyed and stated I was making the right decision by getting rid of them. I didn't donate them, instead, I brought them to work and would keep them there till further notice. My supervisor was perplexed but understanding. When I went home, she'd already ordered me a bunch of new outfits. She said that she understood how painful that was for me but 